Let's see what Raph looks like. Come on, Raph, give me, give me a smile. He gave me the, he's beyond the Konnichiwa point. Oh. You're just gonna say wah. Hey guys, Clyde here. Now the first thing you're probably thinking is, what on earth am I holding? Yes, and it's it's kind of awkward, but uh, this is my shiny new microphone. I don't yet have a um, have a uh, stand for it, so unfortunately I just kind of have to hold it in my hand. And uh, the audio isn't coming from the camera, the audio is actually coming from the microphone. And likewise, yeah, sorry if this is really distracting for you guys. I know it's super distracting for me. So anyways, back to the video. Um, last weekend I went on a really, really special hike. Well, not last weekend, I guess two weeks ago. I went on a really, really special hike with a guy named Rafael Meloso. Uh, he's... A really awesome youtuber who just happens to live in my area and we went on a collab hike my first ever collaboration on youtube so yeah raf published his video a couple of weeks ago he's really really fast like clockwork on that editing and he was just able to get it out like super super quickly i'm unfortunately really really slow and i'm still learning a lot of new tools and i'm still learning you know the tricks of the software so it's kind of been a long and painful experience for me to get to get the whole video wrapped up and put out there but um i'll put a link and i'll put a clip of his video up so please click over and check it out show him love show him some support this guy really deserves it he's a really cool dude so yeah with that i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the footage um this is a look at mount gasan from yamagata prefecture and my first ever youtube collaboration with rafael meloso Today, Raf and I are in Yamagata Prefecture, visiting Mount Gassan, the second in a series of three mountains known as the Dewa Sanzan. As I've said earlier in this series, these three mountains are said to represent life, death, and rebirth, and they're considered sacred to the Japanese religions of Shinto and Shugendo. Well, if the lush forest of Hagoro represent life, and the hot springs of Yudono represent rebirth, and the climb you'll face ascending Mount Gasan may very well represent death. Of the three mountains, Gasan is the highest total altitude, and by far the most strenuous hike you'll encounter. The terrain ranges from stone paths, to bridges, to plains, to no path at all, and several portions have you scrambling al along jagged rocks as you approach the summit. The park map lists the hike at about 5 kilometers, but a good part of that will be spent climbing, so make sure you bring plenty of water to stay hydrated while you're out on the trail. Truth be told, this is my second time visiting Gassan. My first climb, several months ago, was under very different conditions. I encountered a tremendous amount of rain on the day, and as a result, Raf and I decided to snag some raincoats at a gift shop on the way up. And even though we didn't end up using them, know that if you're going mid-summer, the weather conditions on the mountain can change without warning and that a raincoat might not be a bad tool to bring along. That said, regardless of the weather you encounter, Kassan is bound to blow you away. Let me put it like this. I've been hiking pretty much every weekend for the past year I've been in Japan, and without hesitation, I can say that this ranks among the best of them. As far as I'm concerned, it's a mandatory hike if you're ever up in Tohoku. The hike starts casually enough. A 10 minute ride on a ski lift will carry you up a good portion of the mountain. Funny side note, this was Raph's first time riding a ski lift, and he literally started yelping about a fear of heights and how scary it was, and I kind of casually pull his attention back to the ground, like, look, Raph, it's, it's really not that high, you're, you're okay, buddy. It was an adorable scene. And even though you're never more than a few feet off the ground, the view you get from the lift is just impressive, especially towards the end. Once you're up the lift, the trail to the summit takes you up and over some of the most beautiful mountain passes you'll ever lay eyes on. The landscape stretches out in every direction, and above the tree line, you start to feel like you're on a plateau, far above the earth. Everything just feels so wide and open, so free, and it's a sensation that's truly beyond words. I've also got to say, the final stretch of the trail is pretty fierce. There's about 20 to 30 minutes towards the end that are nothing but hectic scrambling. A walking stick wouldn't be a bad idea, but it isn't mandatory. Just take your time and watch your step, and you should be okay. The summit is, simply put, a place that you have to experience for yourself to understand. As you step into the clouds, 
thick fog just swirls all around you. You start to wonder what on earth you're looking for. It's a serene moment standing atop the plateau. It's eerily quiet, and you stop for a second to catch your breath. Something catches your attention out of the corner of your eye, and suddenly, almost without warning, in front of you is a massive structure that begins to emerge from the fog. You can see the temple, just feet away from you. This scene is one that seems to play out every time I come here, and it's one that I've come to associate with Mount Gassan. As the temple comes into view, you can't help but think to yourself that this is just one special place. The temple grounds themselves are a fascinating place to see. There are several shrines, an offering box, and if you visit when the monks are present, you can receive a blessing. While we were there, we had a very castle in the sky vibe going on. It's just a surreal place with some stunning scenery. Just don't forget to peek out over the back side of the mountain when you visit. There's a killer view just past the monastery that's definitely worth checking out. All in all, I'm inclined to say that Gassan is the most hikey of the three mountains of Dewa. You'll get a workout here, unlike Hagoro and Yudono. That isn't to say that they weren't worthy of checking out, they're stunning in their own right. I just don't know that I'd classify them as hikes like I would with Gassan. Still, if I could only visit one of the three, or maybe if you only had a single day to spare for a hike in Yamagata Prefecture, I think Gassan would be a pretty good choice to go with. So that's it. Um, that's all I've got for you guys today. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the look at Gassan. You learned a little bit about the Dewa Sanzan series. And hopefully if you're ever in Yamagata Prefecture or if you're ever up in Tohoku, this has inspired you to go check these places out. Um, these three mountains are just so beautiful and they're so special. And um, each one of them is so different. You know, you have the springs of Yudono and you have the history in the forest of Haguro and you have the climb and the summit of Gassan. And I think all three of them really bring something different to the table. And even if you're not, you know, educated on the on the history of Shugendo or Japanese Shinto, these are still three places that you can find a lot of value and a lot of excitement and a lot of enchantment uh, in Japan. As always, thank you so much for watching. Um, it really means so much to me. I know I posted the, uh, the 200 videos video uh, the, the 200 videos, blah, the 200 uh, subscribers video the other day. And I, I said, you know, a bunch of warm, gushy stuff in that, but it, it does, you know, it still, it still lingers and those feelings of gratitude still linger. So thank you so much for the comments and for the, the warm words and the encouragement. I'm still obviously have a long way to, uh, to go, but it's something that's a work in progress. And I'm really excited to have you guys with me, um, you know, learning the ropes on this adventure. If you have any comments or feedback, please leave them below in the messages. I, I really want to hear it. Don't, don't be afraid to reach out to me on Twitter or Instagram or on YouTube. I'm looking forward to hear from you. So until the next hike, guys, I'll see you next weekend. Safe travels. And thanks so much for watching. All right. Bye.